Welcome to the channel, everyone. Well, working on the 1980 Chevy Silverado frame. Um, I did a bunch of uh, upgrades to it. Uh, it's stripped down right now, almost ready for, for primer and paint. So I got one more upgrade that I'm gonna test fit before I get this thing painted. And that's these, uh, the rear shackle mounts. Uh, this is a four wheel drive. So I went to uh, off-road design, got a heavy duty upgrade for this. Now we'll go over to the bench, I'll show you. Okay, so here's what I've got uh, from off-road design. Um, I'll go through it and uh, show you what I've got. Uh, these are the heavy duty uh, shackle mounts that are going to replace the factory ones. Uh, they hold a bigger, uh, bigger bushing and also uh, bigger bolts. And these bolts are greasable. So much, much bigger bolt than uh, what comes factory. Comes with all the bolts to uh, bolt these on. I'm going to show you how I replace them in just a second. So to go with that, I've got these heavy-duty shackles uh, for it. And you can see, I mean, they are heavy-duty. I'll show you. This is the factory one. This is a factory one that's bent. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's bent. So, I mean, you can see much more heavy-duty. Uh, if you bend one of these... Um, you've done something pretty bad. Okay, so to go with these heavy duty shackles, I got bushings. These are gonna go in the, in the, the leaf springs, um, on the, the rear bushings for the front spring, leaf springs. Um, again, these are greasable, and they have a bigger bolt than uh, what the factory runs. So, upgrading all that, I got some, uh, these are the main eye. Uh, bushings with greasable bolts so these are the front uh, bushings on the leaf springs and, and guys this is all for the front uh, suspension on these trucks so heavy duty parts that um, are not going to bend like factory stuff here kind of been the theme of the truck upgrading all the stuff that uh, is uh, bending, cracking, breaking uh, on this frame. So let's get to, uh, I guess, the install, guys. I'm not going to install the leaf springs today because uh, I, I got to get it painted first, but I will be test uh, fitting these. Uh, these, you got to modify the frame a little bit. Uh, but I think you got to drill out the holes a little bigger also. But here we go. Let's get these installed. So the first step to replacing these uh, hangers is you gotta, you gotta get rid of these rivets. There's four rivets that hold them in. And just like I've done every rivet on this frame, um, I like to grind an X in them. That makes it easier than take a air hammer, pop them off. So I'm gonna get rid of these and we'll, we'll move on.
Okay, so I got both sides out. One side fought me tooth and nail, the other side pretty much fell out. Uh, there's one of them. And then I got the other one over here just to show you. So this is what, this is why you're doing the upgrade. Not only is the, the mount heavy duty, you can see the bushings way bigger. And then the bolt that goes through it is going to be bigger. So a lot of upgrades going on here. Okay, so the first thing you're going to notice when you put these up into your frame is your hole there isn't big enough to allow that to go through. So you're going to have to enlarge uh, the, the big hole there and then you're going to have to drill out the mounting bolts, uh, I believe the 7, seven sixteenths. So I'm going to find my drill bits and then probably get my plasma cutter out to enlarge that hole. So there's a look at the final install uh, once I cleaned up the hole there. Got both sides done. So this is a wrap for this. Uh, you got your bushings here, your bushings will go in there, then your sleeve and then you'll bolt your shackle to that. I don't want to install all that because I gotta, I gotta paint this frame. But yeah guys, hopefully uh, this helps some people out. That's gonna do it uh, for this video. Uh, stay tuned. Next video, probably gonna be painting this frame. I'll see you guys.